Hello and welcome this is Ashkol Rafi and from this video we are going to learn how to set up a complete blog site for affiliate marketing step by step from the very beginning. We are going to use WordPress and Bluehost hosting to create the website and for your information it is going to cost you some money for the hosting service and all the other tools and plugins we are going to use throughout this video to set up the website are going to be free of cost. So to start the process at the very first stage we will learn how to get domain name idea from a free website then we are going to purchase a domain name and hosting plan for the blog we will install wordpress then we are going to set up the website with all essential plugins for affiliate marketing then i will cover what are the important pages you need for an affiliate marketing website we are going to create these important pages and we'll do all the other important settings for our blog after setting up the website i will show you how to create a blog post by adding images videos and most importantly by adding your affiliate links so that you will be able to generate money from your blog site and finally i am going to share the resources where you will find affiliate products to promote and some other resources to find newly launched products for low competition so that you will be able to generate money easily so please watch the video till the end if you are serious enough to learn every single steps to start your affiliate marketing website today let's start from selecting a good domain name for the blog site so here i am visiting instantdomainsearch.com slash domain slash generator this is one of the popular websites most of the pro blogger use to find expert domains they used to find domain names which are on sale also they use this website to generate business name or domain name idea completely free by using this website i'm going to attach the link into the video description for you and now let's generate a domain name idea for our blog so let's say i want to create a blog site which is going to be on the topic of passive income so i'm going to type out my keyword here passive and if you just notice instantly we are seeing lots of domain name ideas as you can see here so if you just notice the first one passive.com and we are seeing a note here who is information that means this domain name is already been purchased by someone else but if you notice this one which is buy you'll be able to select this domain name and you'll be able to purchase this domain name from any resellers so let's see as you can see here artpassive.com passivetv.com passiveon.com and you are going to find many other passivevia.com air passive passivers and you are actually going to find many great domain names americanpassive.com cloudpassive.com travelpassive bluepassive virtualpassive.com many other really really impressive greatest domain ideas from this website completely free so let's say i have selected highpassive.com as my domain name and it's time to purchase the domain and hosting plan on bluehost you can use my bluehost affiliate link from the video description so that whenever you will make a purchase on bluehost i will get a small commission without any extra cost to you so it will definitely going to help me let's move on we are going to visit bluehost website with Bluehost web hosting, we'll be able to register the domain name completely free for the first year. And most importantly, we are going to have the SSL certificate completely free as well, which is really important to have on any website or blog site. For example, let me show you what it does for a website. So whenever I'm visiting wordpress.org slash hosting, this is for the official WordPress website. You are seeing this site lock icon here which is mentioning connection is secure so whenever a visitor is visiting this website they are going to feel comfortable on spending more time on this website and for any purpose if they had to provide their personal information private information or payment information they are going to feel secure for sure but instead of this site lock icon if they are seeing anything like this site is not secure they are not going to feel the same way how they are feeling as of now so always activate ssl on your website and the other reason why i love bluehost is as of now i am visiting wordpress hosting recommendation blog post from the official wordpress organization website and as the number one hosting platform they have listed bluehost and as you can see powering over 2 million websites and if you just notice here on the second dream host third site ground but 
Undoubtedly, SiteGround is the number one hosting provider as of now, considering the performance. But only con is their charge is really higher than Bluehost or Dreamhost. But from my personal experience, I'd suggest you to go with Bluehost because I have hosted multiple websites under one single hosting plan on Bluehost and I have never had any issues and all of the websites are performing really great. Also I use SiteGround and I have mentioned like this is going to be the number one hosting platform for any kind of website but the only con is their pricing is really high. Okay, So let's go for the Bluehost, I'm going to omit this page and I'm going to click on get started from here and then we're going to see these plans information you will be able to host one website using the basic hosting plan if you want to create multiple websites under one hosting i'd suggest you to go with choice plus or the plus program and after having some success from your website i would suggest you to go with pro and you will get as you can see this high performance status free ssl and other informations as you can see and i'd suggest you to compare this pricing and compare these features from this page as this video is for demonstration purpose i'm going to select basic package so i'm going to click on select and then i'm going to put my targeted domain name here and you can select your domain extension from here dot com dot online site dot net dot org but i'd suggest you to go with dot com which is more trustable than others and easy to remember now it's time to click on next and it is going to show us if the domain name is available or not on this page so as you can see the domain hypersive.com is available so if you are seeing that this domain is not available then you can try another domain name for sure now you can sign in using your Google account if you don't have an account simply click here and then you have to opt in otherwise what I'm going to do I'm going to put my information manually I'm going to put my first name last name address information here on this page and then I'm going to select so one thing that I'd love to mention here if you select the highest dated as you can see basic 36 month price is 3.95 but for basic 12 months price it is going to be 5.95 so if you are serious about blogging if you are serious about your website i'd suggest you to go with this package okay so that you will get the best discount from here but if you want to try and if you if you have some budget issues then i would love to recommend you to go with this package 12 month package so it is going to cost you around 71 to 72 us dollars and then as you can see primary domain registration is free as i have mentioned we are going to get the domain name for free and then we have got this ssl free as well now we are going to go here domain privacy protection what it does it is going to keep our personal information secure and unrevealed on online platforms if you want to keep your privacy secure then you can select this option i'm actually going to turn it off and then as you can see here code guard basic we don't need these things and then we have got site lock security essential we don't don't need these things as well so now we have got this total of 74 71.40 us dollars cost for one year of complete website management okay so now I'm going to provide all the information here and then I'm going to take you to the next page. And here we go. Success. Next, let's create your account. It's time to create our Bluehost account. And if you want to get your receipt of your purchase, you can download your receipt from here and you will get more information here. But now what I'm going to do, I'm going to click on create your account to set up our Bluehost account so by default it has taken our domain name it's time to provide the password so i'm going to provide a strong password here and then i have to retype the password here all right so it's time to click on i have read and agree to Bluehost privacy policy and terms of terms of service and then click on create account and here we go we have got our your account is ready to go now you can log in so what i'm going to do i'm going to click on go to login and then we're going to provide the password which we have just generated and it's time to click on login i'm going to save the password here so here bluehost is asking if you need any help in regard of building your website but as i'm going to show you step by step we are going to click on skip this step and after that we are going to skip all of these questions skip this step 
and we are going to skip this step as well and after that we don't want to select anything from here we are directly going here and then clicking on skip this step great work we are installing wordpress now wordpress is being installed on our hosting platform and as you can see here we have got this temporary domain name and it's totally fine to have here it's time to click on wordpress let's click on get started and no church i don't want privacy and here we go we are on the wordpress dashboard so we have to do lots of things here as i'm going to dashboard wordpress dashboard all right so here we are on the wordpress dashboard and as you can see here your site is currently displaying a coming soon page once you are ready to launch your site so now actually you will be able to visit our website and you'll be able to see how our website is currently looking like and please don't worry about this temporary url it is going to take some time to get our domain name activated and it is going to work fine soon so here is how our website is currently looking like as you can see a random net website and we are going to make it look fully professional yet simple so let's just cross it out and we don't need this one this one and we're going to keep these things up here for some motivation and now let's say i don't want this one as well so first of all let's do the cleanups of the website so i'm going to cross these notifications out so as i can see dismiss so let's do this click on dismiss and we don't want to see lots of these notifications appearing here okay so now it's looking much cleaner than before and it's time to remove all the posts pages and then we are going to delete all the plugins so let's click here and click on trash now click on trash to delete it permanently from our website delete permanently let's go to page and then we are going to delete all of the pages sample and privacy policy we are going to add them later but for now we are going to move them to trash and then from trash we are going to remove them permanently let's select them delete permanently apply now it's time to go to plugins click on installed plugins then as you can see we have got seven plugins are added here and we are going to remove all of them although we need these plugins later jetpack uh, akismoth these are really helpful then we also need opt-in monster w from slide but we are going to remove them as of now let's first of all deactivate them we're going to see lots of uh, things are going to be removed as you can see these options are going to be removed and our dashboard will be look cleaner now let's select them and then delete click on apply click on ok all right so we have got rid of all of the overwhelmed settings already but now we are going to do some more settings and now we are going to do some more settings from here from general we are going to give a site title so as my domain name i have purchased was high passive so i'm going to give the site title as high passive and then the tagline whatever you want to put uh, right after your uh, title so we are going to type out here like uh, website to find information about passive income okay and then we are going to keep the wordpress website address as of now as it is selected and then we are going a little bit down we will be able to change the language of the site to from english we can select whatever as you can see i'm from bangladesh i can select bangla and you are going to see lots of options here so whatever suited best for you just select from this option and then we are going to see everything looks good here let's click on save change now let's go to reading and from here we are going to be able to select how many blog posts a 
web page should have for example in this page we have got 10 posts selected and for this reason after 10 posts i am seeing the second page here so you can actually select it to five posts if you want and then for this one for each post in a feed include full full text or summary so as you can see here we have got the title and then some of the summaries so we are going to select this part which looks much better and important part search engine visibility until we make our website completely ready and un until we publish our website we want our website to be discouraged search engine from indexing this site okay and after completing all the setting up all the modification on the website then we are going to uncheck it and make sure that you have unchecked this uh, thing here so let's click on save change now let's go to permalinks and by default it is selected as plain link here so what it means so whenever we are visiting let's say on this website whenever we are visiting techboy.com we are seeing an article if i open the article in a new tab we are going to see techboy.com which is my domain name and after that we have got this part as the slang as you can see it just taken this part of the article the title so what it is going to do for us it is looking a professional link and after seeing the link we are going to be able to uh, get an idea regarding this post as well and along with these benefits we are going to get seo benefits because the link has actual keyword of the post already so it is going to work for us in the background as an seo factor but as the as of the current setting which is plain instead of this thing here we might going to see like post id uh, equal to uh, 125 or whatever it is so instead of this we want a link just looking like this so we should have the domain name and then the post title so to get these types of link we have to select this one from here post name and you have got few more options but post name is the one to select this is going to help us in regard of seo in regard, in regard of professional look and other stuffs okay so let's go for it we are going to click on save change so now we are done with all the basic settings of the website it's time to add our theme and then we are going to customize our theme to make it completely professional looking affiliate marketing based website so let's go for this in blogging and affiliate marketing world astra and generate press are two of the most popular themes most of the blog sites are using but the theme that i use for most of my websites i personally like to use nap theme as you can see on this website i have got nap theme on my most of the other websites i use nap theme i also use nap theme in this website because of its easy to use plain lightweight theme so now i'm going to set up the new website in nap theme as well and i'm going to show you the step-by-step -step process of how to customize the theme and obviously i'm going to attach astra the generic press theme link and the nap theme link into the video description for your easy access if you're interested to check them out so now i'm going to appearance and then let's click on themes and from this page we have to click on add new and here we have to make a search and eve and here we go here's the nav theme i'm going to click on install and after that we have to activate the theme so one thing i'd love to mention some people's things like the more ingredients more things you can add up to your website your website is going to perform better but the reality is the lighter your website is the fastest speed your website has your website is going to be much successful than the beautiful looking one which has the many types of functionalities for sure all right so now what i'm going to do i'm going to cross this out i don't want any site libraries instead i'd love to reload this page to show you that we have got some basic chains already and here we go we have got some basic chains 
now it's time to go to customize and from here you are going to be able to customize the website and you'll be able to give as the look as you want so here i'm going to start making the change so first of all let's work on the header section so we are going to click on header and after that as you can see here quick links change the logo change header color change menu so i'm going to click on change logo and after that i'm going to click on select logo let's upload the logo here is the suggested image dimension 200 by 50 pixels let's click on select files and after that we are going to select the logo we are going to give a name here uh, high passive website logo and then let's click on select it is going to show us if you want to crop the image so we are going to skip cropping and here we go we have got a beautiful logo added on our web page already so it's looking great now it's time to show site title no we don't want to show our site title we don't want to show our sorry tagline and title here and then we have got site icon which is going to be appearing here okay so as you can see this site has an icon this site has an icon so if you go to youtube you should see that this site has an icon as well so we are going back here and then we are going to click on select site icon and then upload files and we are going to upload the site icon here it is so let's click on open and the suggested image dimension is 512 by 512 pixels although my image is 1000 pixels i think it's totally fine uh, as of now so i'm going to type out high passive site icon then let's click on select and we are going to click on crop image and it should look nice within few seconds yes it is currently active here as you can see so we are done with the first part it's time to click here on this edit icon so that you will be able to change the background so let's go go for this and we're going to do this and we're going to click on style and after that as you can see the background color so we are going to change the background and to change and i'd love to give the color just like this one so what i'm going to do i'm going to use a tool named pixie which you can find on google pixie color picker so here's the website as you can see nattyware.com slash pixie i'm going to attach the link into the video description just download this file which is only 11 kilobytes and after that install it and it is all fine to use so i already have downloaded and installed so i'm going to open it up here big z so i'm going to open and here we go so wherever i'm going to put my mouse uh, cursor it is going to take the code for me uh, from the place okay uh, color code actually so what i'm going to do i'm going to mouse uh, hover over here and then i'm going to hit Control alter copy into my windows computer and then i'm going back here and then let's click on here and we're going to hit the color value here and just take a look we have got this background already now let's hit here and then we have got the text color so in this color we have got white color so uh, we can actually change this from here and then we are going to give it to white color which is hash fff and we have got everything set up here now from the layout we are going to put full white content it's look good all right next let's, let's click on publish so now we have got this header section already working now we are going to add this home about and contact page into our website and then we are going to add these uh disclaimer terms and conditions and privacy policies so what i'm going to do i don't need this uh tool anymore as long as i have got the code so i'm going to open notepad and i'm going to copy the code here actually paste the code so that i'll be able to use it again so i'm going to cross it out from here all right now what i'm going to do i'm going to go back here let's click here 
and then let's go to layout and let's see container we have got 1170 pixels of container we can actually give it to 1200 pixels it is going to look, look nicer and then default container style is contained everything is content it should be as their content then let's click on publish as we have made some change here and this size is for desktop we can select for a tablet device we can select for a mobile device as well so let's see how it is going to look like on a mobile device so already our template is mobile responsive so that's the uh, important thing another important thing so let's go back here we are done with the layout as well let's go for menus not menus we are going to go for the footer first as it is um, appeared so now let's click on change copyright and first of all what i'm going to do i'm going to add this copyright into this field and then i'm going to make it little smaller uh, until this part or in the half part okay so that i'll have the copyright text here and then i'll have these menu sections here as well so let's go back here in the customize section and then we are going to click on add and after that select footer menu and it's totally fine to keep it as it is then we are going to click on copyright and we are going to make some changes here okay so we just need this paragraph text and then we are going to put copyright and then let's take the copyright sign from here actually i'm going to copy and paste this part okay copyright by Achal Rafi actually i'm going to type out copyright by c and then uh, high passive actually so we are going to put this as like this and then if i click on publish and we are going to see this uh, as i have selected to mobile device i'm seeing it on mobile device so we can actually change it to desktop so that we'll be able to see how it is looking like in a desktop device as of now so i'd love to give it the placement as left so what i can do i can simply go to layout and then alignment to left it is going to look much better in real way and all the other things should be did I change any color it should be white so let's go for text color to white okay so it's looking good now now we are going to work on these things after a few minutes but before that let's see how our website is currently looking like in a new tab so that we'll be able to compare our website from with this one with the original one okay so here we go uh, I have to work a little more here passive okay so it looks good uh, then, 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 then. okay it looks good now let's go back here and we're going to give a background color of this section so let's go back to the customizer and to make changes here in this part we have to um, here style here we go here's the place to make the change so that we'll be able to change the background color so i'm going back here and then as i have copied the, copied the code i'm going to paste it here and just take a look we have got our um our footer color also changed okay so let's go back here actually i have to click on publish and now our website has this look now look what we have got here colors and background colors and background i'd love to keep as it is here and if we need we are going to make the change later and then we have got typography we are going to keep them as there no problem at all headings as there and blogs let's see blogs uh, post excerpt nothing okay so you don't have to make any change here on these things as of now we are actually going to create all the important pages for our website along with other menu sections so we are going to click on uh, pages then click on add new and now let's click on cross we are going to add let's say about page and you can actually put some information here on this about field so as i don't have any about information written so what i'm going to do i'm going to uh, get some lorem ipsum text lorem ipsum dollar sit emmet 
to make it little okay so i'm going to copy and paste this so we have created about page it's time to create another page which is going to be contact page so i'm going to type out contact and we are going to work on this letter because we have to add a plugin and then we are going to add a contact form here so let's click on publish as of now let's click on publish and then let's say i want to add another home about contact and then we have to add disclaimer terms and conditions privacy policy and another important page which is affiliate disclosure so we are going to add these pages so i'm going to click on this icon again click on add in real quick the process is exactly same so affiliate disclosure All right guys so i have added some pages into our website as you can see about an affiliate disclosure contact disclaimer privacy policy terms and conditions all of these pages are highly important to have on your website okay and i have just added them and for the content so i'm going to attach this blog url into the video description so that you'll be able to see some examples and as you can see here privacy policy for then you have to put your website name then our website address is then you have to put your website address so you have to make the changes whereby you are seeing these bold italic um, writings okay so you have to make you make the changes and then you can use these templates on your website or you can make some simple adjustment i'm going to attach this link so that you'll be able to find this uh, information all right just update a little bit based on your website domain name and email address and it will be all fine and for affiliate disclosure you can simply visit my uh, learners.world and then you can see affiliate disclosure what i have written here and then you can get some idea you can write an affiliate disclosure for yourself so this is the easiest way to stay on track with the safest mode all right so now it's time to create our menus so i have got the page it's time to go back here in appearances and then click on menus so here in this page we have to create our very first menu and here is the field to give the menu name so we are going to give main menu and, and then select primary menu from here let's click on create menu and after that we have to select the menu item so let's select about contact and we want to add another page which is for home page and we are going to do this soon now it's time to click on add to menu and here we go we have got a contact us and about us page added now let's click on save menu and it's time to create a new menu so let's click here we want to give this menu as footer menu let's click on footer menu so that it will be added all of these menus selected to footer menu is going to be added to footer menu so let's click on create menu and after that let's select the items which are going to be disclaim our terms and condition privacy policy and affiliate disclosure so let's click on save menu and here we go we have got the menus been created on our web page now if i reload this page we might not going to see any change but let me set things up so i'm going back here and then let's click on customize and it's time to go to this menu section and then here footer actually the main menu let's set it up at the very first stage and then we are going to click on add items let's click home and we are going to click on publish and here the menus has been added as you can see but one thing the colors are not matching as you can see here we have got white color so we have to work on this website as of now so let's do this we are going to click on this pen icon and after that let's go to style and then you are going to select you'll be able to select the effects as you can see here now it is just simple effect but if you want this effect we have to 
go back here and then select this one i'm actually going to remove this these things okay so now if i just hover over you are going to see that whenever i'm placing my cursor into these menus we are seeing some beautiful effects happening here so now we are going to change the item colors to white and here we go they are visible and then active item color let's see what is the active item color here for about page okay so it's a little bit of um dark so i'm going to select active item colors to uh, let's say this color okay and then we have got items hover color we are going to give it to yellow as we have given to our previous web page and it's looking good right so now it's time to click on publish and let's see general you can keep our menu to the center of the web page as you can see here i have added on learners world or you can keep your menu into the right side of your web page so as whatever you think best suited for your website you can keep or use that feature all right and now what i have to do i have to general or actually go back and after that let's go back again now we want to add here footer menu we are going to work on this we are going to select okay it's already been selected so now it's time to change the color from here and oops not here to go back here let's go to footer after that style here color and then text color from this color to we want this to white color So here in footer menu we are going to add disclaimer terms and conditions privacy policy and affiliate disclosure so these are going to be added here so now let's click on publish and i'm seeing two lines here so i want to make some change in the footer section so let's go to footer and then we are going to increase the size so we can actually adjust the size of the placements and here we go it's looking good it's time to make the change of the background and item color so i'm going to change the item color to white and then we are going to change the items hover color to uh, yellow okay so here we go and then we have to select the hover skin mode oops the color has been changed again all right so here we go now what we have to do we have to click on publish and let's go to layout and we are going to place them to the right alignment so now let's click on publish again all right so now we have got the basic structure of the website settled up it's time to go back here and then we're going to cross this out and now if we just visit the web page we are going to see how our website is currently looking like okay so now one thing i want to make some changes here so we want home then we want to see about and then we want to see the contact page to do this we have to go to customize i'm going to remove these things from here and then let's go to header change menu primary menu and then edit menu and now we can actually drag and drop all of these things so just oops not home here we have home here okay so home about contact so we have got them here so now let's say you want to add a drop down list let's say under home i want contact so i can simply drag it here and now it is going to be a drop down list as you can see here so whenever i'm hovering over to about it is revealing contact 
so as of now we don't want a hover um, drop down list here so it's time to click on publish and all looks good on our web page as of now it's time to add some blog post right? and then we're going to work on the layout so let's go back and we are going to cross this out so one thing i missed i have created these categories here as you can see now what i'm going to do i'm going to add these categories as my menu here so whenever someone will click on any one of these categories they are going to find all the relevant posts all right so now what i'm going to do i am going to appearance and menus and after that i'm going to click on categories and let's say i want a new menu add to menu Oops, not in footer menu it's been selected to footer menu so i don't want it to footer menu i have to select the main menu from here okay and then click on select leave and after that i want to add categories so i want money affiliate marketing as my categories so let's click on uh, add to menu and after that let's add them here money affiliate marketing or actually um, okay let's take them as main menus here but we can actually add them as categories okay now let's click on save menu and now if I visit the site from here you are going to see affiliate marketing money so now if I click on affiliate marketing you are going to find all the posts regarding to affiliate marketing what is affiliate marketing set up a website for affiliate marketing affiliate marketing niche for beginners now if I click on money it is going to show us all the posts regarding to money affiliate marketing passive income or whatever it is so affiliate marketing niche for beginners what is passive income set up a website for affiliate marketing what is affiliate marketing so this is how you have to categorize a post you have to add all the similar category based post in one single um, menu bar so you can actually add these things under money so i'm going to uh, show you under money i want affiliate marketing okay just as, as an example let's click on save and now if i reload this page we are going to see that money is a category so now if i go to home back uh, sorry home page now i'm seeing money now under money we are seeing affiliate marketing now if i click on affiliate marketing i'm going to see all the affiliate marketing related posts if i click on money i'm going to see all the money related posts and then if i want to add more menus here simple i can add categories i can add uh, custom links posts and then i can also add custom pages on my website to add on this menu section let's click on new and from here we can actually click on post to start creating post or we can go to dashboard and then we can go to posts then add new now i want to create some post from lorem ipsum so that it will be easier for us to organize and save them save some time so i'm going to add some of these um heading and then paragraph so that i'll be able to see usage of some of the tools now let's say i have entered my articles i want to add an image here so how i can do this simple simply click on this plus icon and then here's the image so i'm going to add click on upload and then select the image that you want after that you can write caption about the image you can as you can see here you can write caption you can add alternative tags etc etc in this platform but we are going back here and then i'm going to add a featured image for this post so i'm going to add a featured image which is going to be the one which i have just uploaded so let's click on set featured image then click on publish then again publish oh one thing i have missed which is i didn't uh, add any category so i'll be able to show you how category things works and how you can organize your website with category category based posts I'm going to click on edit and i am going to click on categories and let's say it was a post about technology 
as an example so let's click on add new category and then i'm going to type out technology and i don't want this on uncategorized now let's click on add new category and after that it's been selected now it's time to click on update now let's go for another blog post we are going to upload five blog posts and by following the same process so i'm going to speed up the uh, steps as of now all right guys so here i have added five dummy blog posts to make some adjustment on the blog so let's go back here and we are going to see how our website is currently looking like and just take a look we have got some posts we have got featured image we have got title we have got my name and then we have got this date we can change how our name is going to be appearing here and then how many texts are going to be appearing as the um, as the excerpt and then you have got another post we have got these things as you can see and then we have got our sidebar where we have got the search bar we have got recent post we have got recent comments we will be able to customize this part as we want so let's make some changes so let me show you how you can add affiliate links on your web post going to posts all posts and then on setup and website for set up a website for affiliate marketing as i have got this uh, page appeared which is my affiliate link so i'm going to copy this url okay so this is my affiliate url you have to collect any affiliate url that you want to promote and then go back and let's say i want to add in add a section here so let's do get your hosting plan now on bluehost and now let's say i want to give it a link hosting plan now on bluehost or actually get full text so i'm going to paste my affiliate link and after that i can select if it is going to open in a new tab or in the same page then if it is a no follow link if it is containing any sponsored link then click on this uh, submit button so now whenever someone is going to click here on this link they are going to visit bluehost through my affiliate link so now let's click on update so this was an example let's say i want to upload a video or actually add a video here on this post so now let me show you how you can do this simply click on this plus icon and after that just type out video you are going to find the options as you can see here youtube vimeo daily mission media text video press tiktok etc let's say i want to upload a video from youtube simple i have just added on uh, clicked on youtube and then it's time to paste an url here so let's take youtube and after that let's say i want to add this url share copy and simple embed here we go i have got a video added on my post as well so let's click on update now if someone clicks on view post they are going to see that i have added an affiliate link on my blog post which is clickable whenever someone is going to click they are going to visit bluehost from my affiliate url and then if someone want to watch this video they are going to be able to watch this video right here all right let's see how close we can make the website so let's go back here and then we are going to appearance customize and then we are going to layout and after that we are going to click on blog slash archive and now we'll be able to select the layout we want so if we select this layout it is going to look like this which is really nice or you can select this layout either you select this one or this one i like this one 
uh, specifically but sometimes I use this one as well which I find really nice to see as you can see our website is currently looking like this and then we can select excerpt length how many uh, words you want to see here so we want let's say 60 it is going to be increased but 25 or 30 is going to look better I guess yes it's look nicer here and then we have got post navigation as there let's keep the keep it as it is and then if you want these things whatever information you want so we want authors we want date and then we have got comment section whenever someone is going to open it up all right so it, as you don't have any comment you're not seeing anything here then if you want you can show your image as well right after the name as you can see here right beside the name actually so here in this website i don't have an image uploaded for this reason i'm not seeing anything appearing but if you just notice here i am seeing my image right here and now we are going to click on publish and after that let's make some change on this part so i'm going back here and now let's go to sidebar it looks good okay and i'm actually going to back and then let's say i want to make some change on the sidebar widget instead of this recent comments i don't want recent comments to be added here so we can remove and let's keep search icon here and i want to add an affiliate link here so for an example let's say i want bluehost affiliate link to be added here so what i'm going to do i'm going to click on add a widget and then let's click on custom html and after that we are going to get the code from bluehost so let's see if i can get my bluehost um, information here and then i have to copy this code from here okay and then let's go back to the web page and let's put it here now let's click on done and it is going to be show up here now i want this to be placed on the top of this sidebar so how i can do this it's pretty simple just drag and drop okay so here i have got an affiliate image added here so whenever someone will click here they are going to visit bluehost by using my affiliate link so this is one way of using your website to monetize and earn affiliate commissions now let's go back here actually i have to click on publish now let's say i want to make change on my username which my readers are seeing so let's go back here i'm going to click on this cross icon and after that click on users and then here you will see how many users you have got and what are the users email uh, username and other information so let's click on edit here to make the change and then we are going to go a little bit down and after that we can use here as you can see first name i'm going to put my first name last name and then the nickname which is going to be Achor, it's totally fine and display name publicly as Achor Rafi, Acharul, Rafi Acharul, however you want. So I want my name to be displayed, my full name here, okay, as an example. And then you can add some information here as a biographical info. So I'm going to skip this and for the profile picture, I'm going to keep it as it is. I'm going to make the change on my E email account so that it will be appeared appeared here easily so let's as of now let's keep this because it is going to take some extra time so i'm going to click on update profile and now if i reload this page you are going to see some change has been appeared happened here just take a look so we have got archography then i have got a beautiful uh, template based website which is really fast and then we have got these pages affiliate disclosure all of these important pages has been added now our website is completely ready for affiliate marketing it's time to add all the important plugins into our wordpress website which we have created for affiliate marketing so now let's go to plugin let's click on add new 
and I'm going to add a list of important plugins into the video description for you as well. So whatever I'm going to show you in this video, these are uh, highly important and then I'm going to attach some of the names which you have to add on your WordPress website to give them some more functionalities which are important as well. So first thing I'd love to add here is Yoast SEO. Here we go. So this is the tool for your article optimization which is going to help you get your articles optimized properly so that your posts are going to get ranked or posts are going to have the options to get ranked faster on Google okay so I'm going to click on install now and then I'm going to click on activate so I have added Yoast SEO as you can see plugin activated now it's time to click on add new now it's time to add easy table of contents and this one is really helpful i'm going to explain how it works and i'm going to set it up for you to show you how it works so i'm going to activate this extension as well and after that we are going to add pretty links uh, add new so let's add pretty links and how it works it's really really important and it really helps you clock the long affiliate urls with your um, website address let's say i'm going to show you a real-time example so i'm going to activate it and we are going to work on this later so let's go back here on plugins add new we are going to add contact form because we didn't work on our contact us page we don't want this anymore so let's go to WP ops contact and we can actually use any of these contact forms all of these are really good so I'm going to add this one contact form by W form so WP forms and then let's click on activate contact and we can actually use any of these contact forms all of these are really good so i'm going to add this one contact form by w form so wp forms and then let's click on activate so before i activate contact form let me show you how our contact us page or contact page is going to work as of now so let's click on contact you are going to see nothing appearing here but when I'm going to, here we go, welcome to uh, WP Forms, I'm going to activate. So as you can see here, create your first form. So I'm going to click here to create our first contact as or contact form. And after that, I'm going to integrate this form with our contact us page or contact page. now as you can see here simple contact form newsletter sign up form suggestion form blank form whatever you want you can simply get started from so as i want a contact forms for uh, contact us page so i'd love to go with this one so i'm going to give it a name contact with high passive and then from description I don't have to write anything here submit sending I can keep them as there and then we have got confirmation everything looks good people are going to receive this message thanks for contacting us we'll be in touch with you shortly and it should be as it is now let's click on save and on general let's see what we have got here all right so fields on fields we can actually make change on name first name these are the informations that a person should provide okay so you can actually add new fields you can uh, delete any fields if you don't want by simply clicking here so i am not going to show you more details because the things we have got here on this page are totally fine all fine to proceed with so i'm going to click on embed and after that select select existing page and then we have created contact us page earlier so i'm going to click on contact after that let's go
and then as you can see here add a block click uh, and then we have to click on WP forms so I'm going to click on plus and then we have to click on WP forms and then we have to select the form which you have created contact with high passive was the form which you have created and if you want you can place something like um, Sanders a message and we love hearing from our readers okay so it should look nice all right so it's looking really good so now let's click on update and after updating let me reload this page here and here we go we have got a beautiful contact us form added and whenever someone is going to put their information put their inquiries we are going to receive an email into our email inbox which we have used to create this website and from that from there we can reply onto their inquiries let's go back to plugins installed plugins and then easy table of contents let me show you how, how it is going to work so as of now if i take you to home page and if i open this blog post as an example so now i want a, a table spawn right here okay so that whenever a visitor will open a blog post they will be able to navigate about the blog headings very easily so let me show you how we can add this and for to do this we have added this easy table of contents now it's time to set it up for our usage okay so now as you can see here You are going to see this is the table of contents has been added here all right so this is the way how you uh, you can add table of contents and then just play around with these settings so that you'll be able to learn more functionalities of this extension okay so now it's time to go for petty links we are going to click here and then let's click on add new but before that as you can see here we have got a long uh, url here but let me show you let's say this is our url already been uh, settled like hypassive.com so now we have got hypassive.com now we want to do the affiliate link plotting with our domain names for example let's go back here so bluehost.com slash track slash agedraphy so instead of this what i want i want my website slash bluehost so let's go back here and then here is my targeted url this is this should be your affiliate url and after that this is your website okay let's say this is our website which is highpassive.com and then we want bluehost okay and let's click on update and now whenever someone will click on this link as you can see here i have got this this is my website and this is my link all right so if you are still unclear the link floating is going to help me uh, for example this pretty links is going to help me get a uh, get a domain or actually uh, affiliate link like this techboy.com slash bluehost for bluehost affiliate program we have got here yoast seo so first thing you have to set up the yoast seo and 
then here we go first time SEO configuration we have to do the configuration let me show you how to configure first of all option a my site is live and ready to be indexed my site is under construction and should not be indexed as of now but we have to make the change later for sure then I have got what does the site represent then a blog and then organization or person this is a person and then the name of the person is Achar Rafi click on next then search engine should show post in search results search engine should show page in search result obviously yes then let's click on next after that multiple authors we can select yes if you have some more contributors maybe your friend could help you create blog contents maybe your friend could help you uh, manage the website so in this case you can select yes otherwise click on no so as i want to manage this website myself so i'm going to click on no let's click on next after that title setting so you can select any one of these separators so hyphen is the best one to go for now let's click on next help us improve your seo no i don't want to allow you to track my site data so i actually don't don't allow them to track my site data okay so let's click on next and after that they are going to uh, ask you to sign up for the newsletter so if you sign up if you provide your email address and then click on sign up you are going to get many emails from them but these emails never feel like a spam email to me because whenever they sent an email to me i learned something new from their uh, expert seo wizards so now what i'm going to do i'm going to click on next i don't want to sign up for now and here we go success you have done it just as you will now take care of all needed technical optimization of your site so now you will see some indication of your blog post how uh, how it is going to perform what is the score in regard of seo factors etc etc and if you're interested to learn more about Yoast seo how to use this tool and how it works then i suggest you to please make a search on youtube so that you'll be able to find helpful videos so now we are almost done with setting up the website but we have to do few more things first of all we haven't yet verified our email address so we are going to my email address from here and we are going to verify as you can see here quiz verification for high passive we have to verify our email address so that our ssl and other informations are going to be updated as you can see here thanks you have successfully verified your who is contact information we are going to bluehost as you can see i'm already signed in so now let's go to the home page so now let's click on my sites and then click on manage site after that let's click on security and it is going to show you about your security certificate as you can see free ssl certificate is pending and as i have just activated my email address it might going to take let's say two to three hours as you can see it has been mentioned here two to three hours to get our ssl certificate activated on the website but before it gets working for us what i'm going to do i'm going to settings to see if everything looks good okay so i want to make some change on our uh, website here from dashboard we are going to make some change on settings so let's go to settings general settings and we want this website address to https then we want to put the domain hypassive.com and i'm going to copy this one to this as well okay now let's go a little bit down and we're going to click on save change i might have to log in again yes i have to log in again as i have changed the website address we didn't create any uh, login details for our web website yet so we are going back let's go to bluehost and then i'm going to sign in with my account okay so here we have got our website address already been updated now let's click on 
my sites after that click on login and it is going to take us to the wordpress dashboard without the password and after that we are going to generate a password for our uh, easy access so here we go we are on the wordpress dashboard and after appearing here we are going to users and then let's click here on edit and after that the username cannot be changed as you can see Achorl is the username for this WordPress website and then we have to enter the password as you can see here new password so let's click on generate password I'm going to um, okay I'm going to type something here alright so this is my password and then I'd love to click on update profile and now if I just sign out and our username and password should work fine as of now so I'm going to type out the password and let's click on login and here we go we have successfully uh, changed our password and we have got the easy access and I'm seeing here the lock icon so we have got our SSL certificate activated as well so now our website is 100% ready for affiliate marketing and I believe you have found this video helpful as my intention was to set up a complete website from the scratch throughout this video and I believe I was able to fill up your expectation thank you very much for watching so here is our website at the end so here we have got the lock icon and we have got everything if someone visits this website from any other browser let me show you what it is going to show them here we go we have got our title then the description or actually the tagline and then we have got this with domain name which is secure and then logo we have got these beautiful menus we have got this sidebar affiliate url and then blog post where we have got the um, tables also available okay so people should be able to visit any of these places easily all right and then we have got these affiliate disclosure and other important pages are ready in our wordpress website so this is it guys thank you very very much for watching this long video and i hope to see you in the next video thank you very much now i'm going to share some of the websites from where you will be able to get affiliate products where you'll be able to join as an affiliate so the very first website that i'd love to mention is amazon usa affiliate and here we go or if you just visit as you can see here Amazon associates from this page you can sign up sign up recommend and earn you can earn up to 10% associate commissions from Amazon by promoting physical products so whenever you share your link if someone clicks on the link and purchase that particular product or any other product from Amazon you were going to get some commission from Amazon that's the good thing of Amazon affiliate product and as a beginner this is one of the best platform to go for okay and then we have got Clickbank here we go clickbank.com so if you just visit their Clickbank marketplace you are going to find many types of products as you can see many at category based products let's say you want to work with um, health sector you are going to find many health related products as you can see here so you just have to select this by gravity let me select gravity here okay you can simply select any after after registering an account you just simply have to click on promote and then provide your account nickname nickname then get hop link and after that you have to uh, as you can see you can earn 75 percent commission for every customer you refer to this product so when amazon is providing set a 10 percent up to 10 percent commission this 
website is providing for some products they are providing 75 percent uh, commission some products provides 30 percent and some products provide uh, 40 percent commission for each sale and then i have got i have got cj which is commission junction the same thing you just have to create an account and then find the products to um, promote and then put articles on your website regarding some of the topics and then add your affiliate link on the sidebar on this post another affiliate program which is impact here simple you just have to sign up as an affiliate and then you can find many great affiliate products to join and then you can promote their products through your website youtube videos to generate commissions all right guys so these are the networks i know much better about than others and now i'm going to show you some platforms from where you'll be able to find all the newly launched products so that you will be able to start creating contents regarding these products earlier than other people so that you get less competition your success rate will be higher so now the first one is monchai as you can see the eye of i am launches and here from this web page you are going to find all the big launches just launched as you can see here you will find all the newly launched products so that you'll be able to do some research of the background of the product how it is how it works etc etc and as you can see here this product has launched 26 september on jvzu or Air plus and clickbank as you can see here so you can find the newly launched products easily on this website and then you'll be able to go for setting up all the campaigns all the strategies that you want from here and another network that i'd love to mention is fbank where you're going to find all the latest cpa offers and other information as you can see here this is the website and just take a look show more advertising networks top networks and then you are going to find top converting offers so if i click here you are going to see all of the best offers available which are doing good on marketplace as you can see here so one issue here you'll find some adult um, products as well which i don't recommend to any one of you so you can actually select the networks you can select from the payout ratio and then you will be able to select from the country based products and then as you can see for united states 6000 plus products are available and for one product you are getting here 299 253 10 cents 64 cents so whatever it is just select and from here you can select the categories to see the best products and then payment type as christ so just read about these things and learn more about these cpa things and the network rules regulation and you'll be all fine so one thing just get started that's the important thing and then the more you will read the more you will watch the more you will try the more you will practice the more you will learn the better you will become and you will get success sooner